Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about the trading post day one. It is back and it is no surprise. They are releasing this at the end of the season. Once again, I'm sure to hope that people will spend a little extra money, especially now that we have super sigil chests out so that they can get some of these prizes from the trading post. Today, there are a couple pretty nice prizes. Now, um, the first one being the featured is five platinum chests for 600 sigils. If you work that out to the value in rubies spent on super sigil chests, it ends up being about half price platinum chests, which is very good if you are a platinum chest type of person. The problem with that is platinum chests do have a very varied uh, drop and you have to open a ton of them to really get to the average. And so if you only open 20 or 30, you might get really terrible drops and it might not be worth your effort. But if you save up 100 or 150 or more to 200 or 250, then you'll get closer and closer to the average and increase your odds of actually having a good output from those chests. So they are a bit of a gamble, but they are also fun in that sense. So if you have the spare sigils and this is something you are interested in, then it is a fairly good deal. The thing to consider is platinum chests only have fortification resources. They don't have PVP resources and a lot of players um, really do want PVP resources from their, um, their rubies and sigils when they spend stuff on them. So Definitely check out the contents of the Platinum Chests. Check out my videos on Platinum Chests and see if you're interested in that. But <clears throat> for any player who is you know, pushing for a Mythic this season or saving for a Mythic next season, uh, you probably don't want to spend any of your rubies to get these. But if you have excess sigils, these might be a good investment to save for next season to help you with your push. The next things are these gunpowder. I definitely don't recommend those. The crafting shards. If you feel like you have tons of earth and need more of the wind, then that's a great deal. Or sorry, have tons of wind and need more of the earth, then that's a pretty decent deal because you can swap for what you want, but you are losing out on some of them. And then the rune. These runes are cheap and they're usually fairly nice to have for your weaker dragons because usually you don't want to invest heavily in a dragon that's not your top dragon but it's nice to have some other dragons that are fun to use so i'm gonna grab that and it'll go on a dragon eventually it has rage which is nice and it's just straight dragon hp so that will be nice for a warrior or a sorcerer and finally this one is um kind of really good actually i'm kind of surprised it's 350,000 rune dust for 100 sigils. Now, Ruined Dust typically has been hard to get, and everybody seems like they're struggling to have enough, and they have tons of runes to, to level up, but never any Ruined Dust. This is very cheap, 100 sigils for 350,000 Ruined Dust, and you can purchase it 20 times, which means you can get 7 million Ruined Dust for 2,000 sigils. Now, I am not exactly certain how that compares to the previous Ruined Dust deals, uh, Morion, I'm sure, will be making a review, which will be shared on the forums. Unfortunately, I did not see it when making this video, and I will be very busy um, on night shifts and stuff, so I don't, don't think I'll have a chance to um, do this video at a later time. And I wanted to get it out there as soon as I could, but this looks like a very good deal if you need rune dust and you have extra sigils. This is definitely one that you might want to consider. And because it's so cheap, I'll probably just grab a few of them um, just to stock up a little bit on the rune dust in case I go into a period where I get lots of runes I want to level and start to run short. Let's go with five there. Um, so not really a bad offering for the first day of the trading post. And I will get these platinum chests too, I think. Um, I don't think I have, actually, maybe I do have enough sigils. You know what? Let's just do it. Um, I like platinum chests. We'll save them for next season. Um, make a, a bigger impact on me next season. And I'll probably save them, see if I can get a bunch of them at one time and we can do an opening there. Um, but so far, day one has taken a bunch of my sigils. Um, I will be opening a bunch of super sigil chests soon. So I will be making a bit of a video on that if you'd like to watch that. Keep an eye out for that. I do hope this was useful. I'll do my best to get a video out on each day's trading post um, as early as I can in the day. So keep an eye on those if you're interested. And I'll see you in the next video.